In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Funk Street Urban EDC Commuter Pack. Hey YouTube, this is City Prepping. If you're new to this channel, you'll find a lot of videos very similar to this where we'll take a look at different pieces of gear. We'll talk about different subject matters within the prepper community. So please consider subscribing. Now, over the years, I've had a lot of different EDC bags. In 2003, when I was in Afghanistan, this was my go-to EDC bag. A few years ago, I started carrying this 511 bag, but I found that it really stood out and a lot of people are always asking me, you know, if I was in the military, and it really drew a lot of attention to myself that I didn't really want. Now, this is a bag that I've been using for quite a while, and I like it because it's also a very, uh, you know, gray man type of bag. Now, one of the things that I really like about this specific bag is that while it uh, doesn't necessarily scream tactical like the 511, it does nonetheless have a lot of features that we'll walk through in this video. So what I'll do in this video is I'll take a, we'll open this bag up, we'll take a look at what's inside, how much you can actually fit in this thing, and uh, if any time during the video you're interested in checking out the particular bag, I'll put a link in the description section below. And so let's take a look inside and see what's, uh, what I've actually been able to put in here. So what we'll do now in this part of the video is we'll go ahead and I'll open up the bag, I'll show you the different things that I put inside. Again, you might have different requirements or different things that you wanna put inside, but at least you'll get an idea of how much you can actually fit in here. The bag itself has this nifty little strap here that it's, uh, or buckle, I guess, I'm sorry. It's actually magnetic and you can just toss that on there and it locks right in place. Pretty cool feature I like. Again, a lot of this is really well thought through. Uh, the manufacturer or the logo, let me see if I can get that to fit in frame there, right there, you'll probably be able to see it. Uh, has Funk Street on it. And again, what I do like about it is that the logo is uh, blacked out. You don't really even notice it. Again, a lot of things, uh, a lot of bags, they have you know logos and different things that really draw attention to themselves, and this bag does not. Now, you'll notice right off that you have these two little front pouches right here, and you've also got this main compartment area in here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start on the main compartment here, take a look at what we have. Uh, I typically always try to put the flashlight right at the top. You know, if you're in a situation and you need light quickly, it's really nice to have this at the very top. And I'll also put a link to all of these items that we're gonna go through in the video in the description section below if you wanna check out any of these items. So this is the light I've used for years and uh, just a really great little light. The, I'll go ahead and put this, take this one out uh, first. Now, this is a Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, uh, small subcompact nine millimeter. Uh, this is a California version. We have to have a safety and a few other things. It's, of course, unloaded. Uh, you'll notice there's nothing in the chamber, but it fits really nicely and perfectly in here. And if you need quick access, you can carry this bag over your shoulder and you can grab, get in here and grab this very quickly. I'll go ahead and put this guy off to the side. By the way, there's an area in here where I can put spare magazines. Uh, I've got one. I've got my wallet here, which I'll take out. Uh, but you can put several different magazines in here. I've just got one. This is a small little guy here that fits in. So you've got this inside pocket. You've got, uh, well, let me just run through some of the things. Now, I keep my uh, just knife very easy to access. Usually I carry this in my uh, pockets, just you know where I can grab it, but it does fit nicely in here. The uh, other things that you can, it's got a nice little pouch right here for your cell phone. Uh, again, really a nice quick access area for that. You've got a nice little uh, key strap in, or a, a strap in here with this nice little hook here, little buckle that has a spring on it. Again, you'll notice that a lot of this stuff is really high quality. I can tell compared to a lot of bags that I've covered in the past, they didn't cut corners. Um, obviously put my car keys in there, keep them where I can get them easily. This is just a little CPR. Uh, face shield, again, one of those items that I want to have where I can quickly access it should I need it. Uh, I also keep a glow stick in here in case I end up going to a rave. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, these have a lot of practical applications, um, just, you know, to if you need to draw attention. Again, I just love all the little details about this bag. You'll notice right up here, hopefully you can see that, there's a little side, um, a little kind of a horizontal area right there where you can put a pin in there. I keep a Sharpie. Sharpies have a lot of applications. You've got this little zipper here, and I believe they use uh, YKK on all of the zippers on this bag. Again, they don't you know, cut corners, they keep really good quality stuff. You've got some tush wipes. Uh, if I have to explain to you what that is, well, I'm not going to. Uh, a little multi-tool Leatherman. This is a Leatherman Wave. This is something I've had for years. I actually took that to Afghanistan when I was there in 03. 
came in handy a lot. Uh, some lip balm, I can't tell you how many times, especially here in the winter, this comes in handy. I think that's it in this main pocket. And again, you've got these nice little pockets where you can quickly compartmentalize things. So getting into the second area here, I'll pull this out. Now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go through everything. I'll just kind of, the way I typically do my EDC bags, I keep everything in Ziplocs because when you have these big compartment areas, it's hard to keep everything organized. So I just, I like to keep things nice and uh, organized. Uh, and here you've got some duct tape, you've got a thumb drive, you've got a USB uh, plug that I, you know, I can connect into, and I'll show you this in a second, a little uh, battery backup source, some crazy glue. Now, I've got some hand wipes, some band-aids, other minor accessories, another USB thumb drive. Now, I've also got some water purification tablets. I know some people may say that's overkill in an urban environment, but the way I look at it is if any time I have to go somewhere and I need to get access to good purified water, uh, those could come in handy because I don't really wanna carry around a water filter. Some other things that I keep in here, again, I'm not gonna open this up, but I'll just kinda quickly uh, keep a condom. There's a lot of practical applications other than the obvious, uh, you know, things for, you know, keeping water or different things. Again, if you look it up on YouTube, you'll see so many different ideals that people come up with in the prepper community for these in their EDC. You've got uh, just, you know, basic uh, cigarette lighter. I've got this uh, little case here. It's got uh, some quarters. Again, being in a downtown area, especially if you're in an urban environment, that can come in handy for meters. Some flint and steel if you need to start, uh, start a fire. And what else is this? Oh, uh, this is just kind of a reflecting, uh, what do you call those? I'm totally blanking right now. You need to do some signaling. Again, might be an overkill for an urban environment, but Again, these are just some things that I've had over the years and continue to carry. Got a ham radio. Now, I keep saying every month I'm gonna get a license, but something always happens every month. But these things are really small and compact, the Dalfung. Not a bad idea if you wanna have that. Right and ring journal. Oops, let me see here. I've got a pen that I use for this specific uh, journal, but these have some practical applications if you need it. I think that's it for the main cargo area or the main pouch rather. Now on the front, you've got these nice uh, two bags. These, um, I forget exactly what this term is called for this particular type of zipper where it's, it's uh, inverted, I believe, to keep you know water out. Again, a lot of thought was put into this YKK zippers and I use this in my bags. It's just a little solar charger they're not exactly the most high quality, but they get the job done and you can charge these. They also have flashlights on the front and I believe it's got a little compass built in the back. Not the best in the world, but again, if you're in a pinch, better than nothing. And you can use that to charge your phone if you need it. Now we'll look at this other pouch that I have here. Um, if I'm gonna carry a firearm, I definitely want the ability to deal with a situation if I do get shot. This is the Israeli bandage. Let me flip this around here. This is a emergency bandage or also known as a Israeli bandage. I'll put a link to all these items, you know, again, in the description section. Got a emergency survival blanket. These are just those uh, kind of thin ones. Again, if you're in a situation where someone got shot, they went into shock, it'd be good to have something like that. And just a basic air filter, respirator. Again, being in an urban environment, there's so many things that can happen where that will come in handy. So I believe that's it. Um, I've pretty much got everything over everything uh, that I put in this bag. It's a lot of stuff. Maybe you may think some of that's overkill, but there's a lot of different things you can do with this bag. Again, there are some other ways you can set up this bag. It's got some nice little loops on it here on the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. And also here on the side. Uh, again, I do like this particular setup. Get a nice mesh back here. Uh, you know, got a good breathable area. And you can wear this either over your shoulder or I'll provide some photos. Also some of the ideas that they had on their Kickstarter website where you can use this almost as a fanny pack. Um, but overall, it's a really cool little layout or really cool setup rather. Uh, some neat features. Again, as you can see, I went through a lot of stuff. You can compact, I put a lot of stuff in here in such a compact little uh, bag. Maybe you don't feel the need to carry this much, but hey, you can if you want to. So that's what you can put inside. So there you have it. Hopefully this gives you some ideas as far as what you want to put inside an urban EDC. 
I'd really be interested to get your feedback in the comments section below. If there's things that you feel like should be in a bag or should not be in a bag, post those in the comments section. I always enjoy getting feedback from the YouTube community. I'm always learning. Uh, I don't think I know it all, and I really enjoy feedback because it helps me understand how I can improve upon my own bag, change things out. And uh, again, please post those comments below. Again, if you want to check out this particular bag, I'll put a link in the description section below to the website. Right now, it is in, uh, at the time of the recording of this video, it's in Kickstarter. I think it's going to be going on for a little more over about 22, 25 days from today. Uh, once that campaign is over, I'm sure there'll be links uh, that I can update in the description section below if you want to check that out. So again, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, feel free to share it on social media. And as always, be safe out there.